All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another review. This is the Leaf uh, Fan 2100, and uh, it's as close as you're going to get until you get a private jet, I'm thinking. Interesting aircraft, nevertheless. Uh, I picked this up back in the day, um, and I want to do a review today. Here we are on the ground. We got a little bit of baggage. It's a pretty nice aircraft. Uh, it's not the best aircraft. However, it was cheap and interesting, so I chose to pick it up and get it. Uh, I flew it a couple times on the stream, not too much. Um, it's uh, it's nevertheless it's an interesting plane, and it does come with a lot of liveries, which also change the interior of the aircraft. The shades do come down all at the same time, or I think you can also, I believe. You could do one at a time. Let's see if I'm wrong or right here. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and open all the shades back up. Jump inside the cockpit. Get this plane started up. Do a little bit of flight um, and stall testing. Let me put the nav on here. I'm going to just show you the landing lights, taxi lights. <clears throat> all right. So uh, here we are on the ground. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I want to show you a couple of things here. Here's the left door, which opens up if you press that button, which is pretty cool. You know, I mean, look, it's not the best aircraft as far as um, texturing. It's very simple. Um, and I believe you're going to find the same kind of thing throughout the whole entire uh, plane, to be honest with you guys does come with a couple of features there where they put the bags on the outside and they have the uh, covers on uh, but we can go ahead and close the doors close that up uh, let's see should be another everything else should be closed up there let me show you what this plane looks like as well in the dark so let me put it in the dark real quick for you here. Pretty cool thing about this aircraft is I think they recently put these upgrades in, which is pretty nice. You can uh, do it. Oh, no, they're not even working. Okay. That's weird. I thought they would be working by now. There's the condition lever, cabin lighting. Overall, it's not a bad aircraft, but it's not the best, as you can see. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it looks like on the outside here. All right. Let's go back to the daylight. Get this plane up in the air and uh, give it a, a try. Let's go ahead and start it up here. Left fuel is on. Props are forward. Gear lever is down. I think all that should disappear. Somehow the covers are on and everything's still working, which is pretty awkward. Let's see if this thing works. No. Oh. I know it I think it's one of these buttons here. Oh no. Exterior. One of these buttons are for baggage as well. Prop wing shield.
parking brake is set. Okay. What are these? Luggage. Parking mode. Parking mode is off. Luggage is off. Alright, I think we are good for our departure here. Light condition lever here. Okay. ITT is coming up. Now we're talking. All right, altimeter set. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, test fly this little aircraft. And see how it works. Check out this flight. So Ground here it is. With the uh, taxi for takeoff, departing straight out. So far, like uh, some some things don't work that great on this aircraft here. Sorry, it took me a little bit of time to get that figured out. So anyway, we're going to be taking off. We're going to go over to the left side here. It doesn't seem like some of the views are not set properly. Um, we're going to take off, go over this side here, do a little bit of stall testing, and try to see how this thing flies and handles. Uh, it's pretty interesting, nevertheless. Strange-looking aircraft, pretty much like a private jet. It's not bad, you know. I don't do too many flights with this, um, but I should probably try it out more often than not. It's such a weird aircraft, though. It's almost like a, really like an RV in the sky. It's pretty nice, though. Um, I think the autopilot works pretty good. I've done a flight with it. It doesn't have a lot of air uh, speed on it, you know. Like you could probably do like a 6,000 to 8,000 flight uh, with this aircraft as far as altitude. Let's try to spin this thing around. I don't know what just happened there. Try to turn it a little bit tighter. touchy on the brakes there I think it doesn't have too much of a hard time getting off the ground so uh, let's go ahead and uh, try it out all right here we go here we go the the leaf fan 2100 not a bad aircraft here we go 70 knots 80, 100 already. Let's go ahead and rotate. ITT is a little bit high there. Positive rate to me. Wow, this is pretty cool. It took off pretty quickly there. Approach Liberty 757 is tied one mile south of Whiskey Alpha Bravo India 400 feet. When I, when I try to look out the windows, it looks out the side window, which is kind of weird. Alright, let's put the flap can come up. So far, it's not bad. Five, 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 six, Liberty, Seems seven, to be five, flying alright there. We're about 120 knots we're doing right now. Cleared we're going to just turn airspace, Liberty, seven, over towards five, the water seven. here. Climb up to about three, 4,000 feet. get any other views for us. It'd be nice if that Grumman worked here. I mean that, uh, what is that, G5000? 
All right, let's keep climbing. Almost uh, 2,300 feet here. We'll go ahead and try out the... That's the autopilot hold, altitude hold. And we'll dial in 4,000 feet. Let's see how it climbs the 4,000. We'll do vertical climb. Put in 1,000, not 2,000 feet per minute climb rate. And let's go to heading. Let's see if we can get a heading. See if it turns on our heading. And it is. Not bad. So far, so good. This plane's not too shabby, you know? Definitely an interesting look. Pretty quiet since the engine's in the back as well, too. That's another positive about this aircraft. This aircraft was pretty fairly cheap. I mean, it does need some work. But, I mean, for the price that you can get it at, I think it was very cheap. I think I picked it up for, like, $20. Um, I'm not going to complain, you know? All right, let's try another turn with the heading towards the east here. We're just uh, approaching 4,000 feet. And uh, the runway we took off from should be right out the window there. There it is right there. So what we'll do now Take it off autopilot. We'll bring the speed back here. And uh, we're just gonna pull up on the stick and try to see what happens in a stall test here. I'm gonna pull up, drop in altitude. Wow, it's still trying to climb though. We're literally climbing straight up. Holy moly, what is happening? 6,000. It's starting to dip on the left wing. We're still going pretty high. Holy crap, we're at 7,000 feet. 70 knots there, I'm holding, holding. Wow, either this plane can really climb or something's up. Oh, 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 it's dropping the nose now. Let's see. I'm trying to keep it straight. 63, 62, 61. Really pulling the left wing down there. We're almost at 10,000 feet already. 56 miles knots here. 54. Really, there we go. There we go. And it's stalled. All right, let's see if we can recover. All right, look at that. We recovered at 10,000. Let's go ahead and turn. It's not bad. Wow, we climbed up to 10,000 really quickly here. We're just going to do another stall test, climb and turn here. See what happens on the turn. Let's see. We're turning left base here. Turning, turning, turning. Keep going. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. 70. Starting to dip that wing down. I'm trying to keep it up here. There we go. 40. And it's dropping that wing. How about that? We climbed another 3,900, well, wow, 3,000 feet pretty much, right there. That's pretty good, I mean, that's pretty impressive, like, there's the runway all the way down there, 13,000 feet below us. Alright, so here's what we're going to do now, we're going to try one more stall test to the right, here we go, and see what we can come up with, and then uh, we'll go ahead, try a couple of other things, and then we'll land it and see how how we do on the landing so far the controls ain't bad I mean I'm sure this is definitely not see how the planes handling there all right let's go ahead and recover let's 
So it's not too bad. It's kind of easy to recover here, which is a nice sign. We made it up to 15,000 feet there. All right. So now we're going to just uh, descend down. Let's see what we could do with this thing. All right, we're descending down. I don't want to get too much airspeed there. I'm going to keep turning here. And we'll come down for a landing. It's not a bad plane. I mean, for uh, the amount of money that you pay for this aircraft, it's not bad at all. Beautiful inside as well. Great interior, as you can see. Um, the runway should be right there. That we're going to be landing on shortly. It does have a... I believe this is a... Oh, well... I think that's supposed to be a restroom back here, but they didn't finish the modeling. A little bag there, some cup holders. It's not bad, you know? Like I said, it's a cheap aircraft, so uh, it doesn't seem to have any kind of hidden features or lights or anything that go on. Pretty much just the window shades come up and down, and the baggage. So... It's not a bad aircraft for sure. It's kind of like the TBM with the prop there that you got to put on. Let's try uh, let's see what we get a straight and level flight. How much airspeed we can get out of it. Oh, and we're almost going to overspeed. Landing gear. 172 knots. 11,000 feet. So uh, you can't go too fast with it. Just keep that in mind. Limit it on views as well. If you turn to the right, it shows the cabin. Turn to the left, it shows the right cabin still. So, yeah. It's good that it has this, though. It really helps out with the landing, and the aviations are good, at least. Let's see if we can switch to left tank. Go ahead and add prop pack in. We're going to just keep turning and descending, 10,000. It's not a bad aircraft. Let me show you what it looks like flying at night. I'll show you the livers. And, uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, you know, you can't complain. All right, you can't really see all too much of it. The lighting is not the best for the outside. Inside's not bad, though. Inside, you can kind of tell where you're going. So, uh, yeah, I guess it has its pros and cons, but, I mean, with all the technology nowadays, um, it's a cool plane to pick up and try out, but I don't know if I would recommend it, you know. I guess I would recommend this aircraft if you're into this kind of plane and uh, you don't care about some of the features. You just want to get up, fly, and uh, mess around a little bit. This is a good plane for that. It's not bad, for sure. Flaps going down. We're descending at a 7,000. Runway should be over here. There it is right there, I believe. I think that's it right there. Oh, huh, maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's see if we can pick it up on the radar again. Yeah, it does look like it. That's it. Or is it over there? Uh oh. These don't work. So. Oh, look at this. What is this? 
map. Oh, okay. Alright. So the map is on this side. Oh, look at this. You got some maps on that side as well. So some of the maps work. That's pretty cool. Landing gear. Let's put the gear down. Got about 4,000 feet to go. Let's see how it lands. Seems to be pretty smooth as far as flight. So far. It used to be uh, a lot more unstable, so it's kind of nice that they kind of fixed it. I th maybe they did an update with it. I'm unaware of. I haven't really paid attention to this aircraft in a while. It's possible they did an upgrade. At 3,000 feet. And the electric went off on it. That's weird. That did happen before. I don't know if it's a glitch or what. So we just lost all of our electrical systems, which uh, I don't know why that does that. It did that to me before on a flight. Super strange. I think we could still land it at this point. I'm going to take a guesstimation where we're at here. Really weird that the electrical systems went out. That is another glitch that happens with this aircraft. I totally forgot about it. It did it to me, I think, after their update. Hopefully they fix that. Um, I'm, it could be possibly something I did on one of the switches. But um, I'm pretty sure everything's working properly. So just keep that in mind because that's really frustrating, especially when you're doing a, a flight. You don't want to lose electrical systems. And not know now we don't know our altitude or our airspeed or anything. We're gonna assume that we have it correct, but really there's no way of telling right now. So um, we're kind of flying blind here. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's why I definitely would. Uh, I guess it's showing its true colors, really. I guess I wouldn't recommend this plane. Unless you like it. It does stop fast, though. Alright, there we go. Let's taxi back. So we lost our electrical systems. That was super weird. Uh, and yeah, not something that you really want to happen in flight. But we did make it safely. And, uh, yeah, this review, I guess, uh, I don't think uh, I can really recommend this aircraft to you guys. Because, uh, you know, I love every plane. If you have been watching these videos, a lot of them are good. I don't have anything to bad to say about anything. I don't know what it's like to develop an aircraft. I also am not even a real-world pilot. These are just my opinions of different planes. And, uh... Although I love the way this looks, it's such a unique aircraft and pretty cool to fly. Um, you know, there's certain things like that that just unfortunately are not cool that it does. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's the Leaf Fan uh, 2100, Leafer or whatever it's called there. Let's put on the parking brake and pull the prop down. Look, I didn't even turn off anything. I just pulled the prop down and the flight's over. So that is super strange. The electrical systems died on us. But anyway, there you go. And that finishes up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think about this aircraft. It's not my number one pick of choice. 
I'm just going to jump inside here real quick and uh, go to the main menu and show you guys a couple of the livers before I let you go. And then we're done with this review. I promise. I'm going to get better at these reviews too. I'm going to really try. It's just sometimes they don't go according to plan and sometimes they go smoothly. So this is the cool thing about this aircraft besides the electrical problems. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It has a lot of cool livers and it changes the inside of the aircraft as well. Even the military one is pretty cool. So um, there you go. You get a couple livers, one, two, three, that's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven different livers. But uh, yeah, I would recommend this if you are bored and you have nothing else to do and you want to check it out. Or if you just want a unique aircraft that uh, you can fly around with, pretty cool plane for that. So uh, there it is. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. We're Aviation Enthusiast channel. Smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Peace. Thanks for watching.